Hello Gemini, thank you for clicking on my channel. Welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. This is your zodiac reading for the next week to 10 days or whenever you clicked on the title when it intrigued you. We're going to start with the uh, Shaman Oracle deck. Uh, just a reminder about the Facebook page. Come join us over there. I put out a message and encouraging posts every single day. So do join us over there. Let's get on with this. We have the spiral and the ghost dance. The spiral is about you need to stop poking at yourself. You need to stop trying to change um, you know, all the faults that you've been trying to work on. You've already broken into your out of your old skin into your new one. And all you're doing right now is poking at tender flesh. So allow this to grow. Allow this to uh, manifest into your destiny, quite literally. You're on the right path, Gemini. And you're probably poking at yourself a little too much. Say, maybe I need to be more um, doing this or being more spiritual there. Or, or You don't need to do that. The beauty of this is the ghost dance that came up with it. This is your ancestor speaking to you. You've broken the karmic cycle, ancestral karmic cycle. And it's time to uh, have a closer look at this. It's time to have a closer look at this. There is a message of healing here and a powerful message uh, medicine here to offer you. Create a sacred moment at your altar. Light a candle to your ancestors and let their wisdom infuse you. At this stage in your life, you're done repeating their tragic stories. So step into the abundance that is offered to you. Receive the gifts of those that have come before you and write a new story about your life. That being said, what came up from the Fairy Oracle deck was quite interesting. I've even bookmarked two of these pages. Uh, <clears throat> well, to reflect on, to, to have a closer look at the meaning. This is about honesty. And it asks that we're being truly honest with ourselves. We may think that, that we're being honest with ourselves, but maybe not completely. Unsurprisingly, this is the need for straight dealing and truth representation. We need to be scrupulously honest here with ourselves. Make certain that there's no room for confusion here or misunderstanding. No fuzzy edges. Both written and verbal agreements need to be completely clear. Assumptions may not as may not be as well understood by all the parties as we are assuming too much, and they need to be tested for comprehension. But on a personal level, this honesty reminds us not not only to be clear at what we say and do, but also to act and speak with compassion and tact. Brutal honesty is not usually a true honesty at all. Somehow slanted to, to the worst when we're like that. Dishonesty, even in the name of tact, is not helpful either. Balancing on that fine line of loving honesty may take some effort, but will provide rich rewards. Honesty, humility, idealism, and clarity of mind are some of the advantages that you'll gain. Now, from that came these two cards. This is about asking for help. I need two hands for that. All right. Here we have two messages that are very similar. Uh, Mickle the Muckle is telling you to lighten up. What is needed here is the benefit of a childlike trusting heart and childlike wisdom. 
What you see is what you get. Don't look for sudden, or hidden, or subtle meanings. Because they're not there in this case. Go to the heart of the matter, the simple core hidden behind complexities. Don't be so caught up in thinking about the future that you can't see what is happening now. So welcome adventure in your life. Try something you've never done before. Take some time to play before you turn into a grumpy, grumpy, worn out word rug. The other message, again, very similar. What is needed here is not only an awareness of duty, but a merry approach to it. This job has to be done. So one might as well just do it. Progress through the dance maze step by step. Blithely, lightly, take joy and pride in achievement. Approach the work with zeal, zest and zing and perhaps even a little zaniness as well. Otherwise, you might as well not bother. Well, almost not bother. There's something about this lighthearted approach to your duty that is important at this time in order to achieve the results you want. Additionally, consider the words collective and cooperative as you make your plans. This situation may take more than one person, perhaps several working together to achieve the desired results. Joining forces with others to appropriate is appropriate at this time. Seek the cooperation of friends and family, co-workers and fairies as appropriate. I don't normally read from the book of those, but those put together like that just made a lot of sense to me. And I could not have possibly said it as eloquently as they wrote it. So let's get on the tarot portion of your reading. We'll cut the deck first. And we've got Fortune's Wheel moving forward in your favor, Gemini. I think what you've been going through in the last couple of weeks has been a lot to do with having to be patient knowing that you're going forward but it's been such a long drawn out battle the crowning energy is six of earth you're coming into balance working with people that is equal give and take instead of always giving 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 and not receiving this is about receiving as well this is your crowning energy this is an energy you're moving into you're still very much grieving over the past perhaps there was a trigger moment in the last few days the last week something that triggered you and just set you right back but you are coming into a place of balance i think you're going to wake up one morning gemini and and just say you know what i'm okay i'm good seven of earth to the point of exhaustion your investment of time and money will a harvest ever come in. This is a card from spirit that usually says or means to be patient a little longer. Five of fire is inner conflict, outer conflict. There could be jealousy here too of your movement forward. You're about to take that leap of faith regardless of whether you're ready or not. And this reflects back on the spiral you don't need to keep working on your faults anymore you're in your new skin and now it's time to test your abilities blow that horn and jump <clears throat> i've noticed too from some of these uh readings that i've been doing for the zodiacs a lot of the theme has been to do something completely different almost like a surprise you just go out and you do something like um like buy a ticket to go somewhere and it just changes everything or to change course direction and it changes everything look at this he's a bear this is your new direction cutting out everything that did not serve you for a clean slate a new beginning clarity truth honesty it's there there's a judgment call being made here possibly with someone from your past good or bad 
There's some confusion and there's some options. And there's also visions here. I always get visions from this card. Paying attention to your dreams. But you have a lot of cups that you drank from. And there's many more that you can drink from. What will be your next level? What will be your next cycle? What will you learn from it? What is it you want to learn from it? Putting out your intentions. What I want in my life. And seeing where the cards fall. So there's someone watching you who is like a, a paternal or a parental figure, someone who is protective concerning you. Uh, this could be you taking on these energies, feeling protective of your of your life, of your surroundings, of your empire. If this is regarding someone else, this person can be controlling, not necessarily in a bad way, uh, and stubborn, um, but they know what got them to where they are at now. We have true love coming in. Whatever energies have been blocking you, Gemini, they're going to bust through eventually, whether you like it or not, or doesn't matter how many roadblocks you've put up it's going to bust through we've got the king of air and this is a, a clinical figure of someone who doesn't show emotion this could be you gemini quite simply without emotion realizing you know doing that sorting out within yourself i'm not going to dwell on these things i'm not going to hang on to those things i'm not going to and these are the directions I want to go to. So looking at it very logically without the emotion. It may even regard love. I've decided that I am going to have uh, a relationship with this person. And looking at it from a more logical head over heart decision. I know I'm in love with this person. So it's only logical that I'm going to commit. There is a message coming in that is going to light a path for you. It's one you're going to enjoy. One that lifts your spirits. So let's get on with the clarifying cards. Personal uh, readings are open for the time being over at the website if you want to check that out. Members of the website get a discount for their personal readings, so you might want to become a member. If any of this resonates for you, Gemini, you can ask me to pull you a card under one of the extended readings, and I'll pull one for you to help personalize it for you. But at $10 a month, you can't go wrong. It gives you access to all the zodiac signs and the afternoon delights. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Swords. Delays are over. Yes, in the past when we read this card, it was a lot about the betrayals you felt, the hurts, the pains. You may still feel a bit of that residual effect. But this is also saying that that's over. Delays are over. It's time for you to move forward. <clears throat> Six of Earth is going to be clarified by the Three of Wands. Look at this balance coming in. Once you hit this point, Gemini of balance, once you hit that it's almost like it's going. you're going to recognize it when it shows up. Something's going to happen here. This equal give and take, receiving and giving. And it's going to be like a moment of um, an epiphany. Someone gives you something and something clicks in your mind. Wait a minute. This was the, this was the sign I was waiting for. It will be a sign that your ships are about to come in. And you'll see um, a prosperous return. Oops, we had one more that flew out. Ten of Wands. You are finally going to let go of this. Finally, Gemini, you're going to let go of this. This pain, this grief. Laying down these wands says you're going to finally notice that treasure on your tail. You're going to give the responsibilities that you've been carrying for others back to the people they belong to. You took good care of them. They're able to carry them on their own. Free yourself. Free yourself from the labor, emotional labor of others. 
laying down those burdens. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but this is the card of protection, balance, the gold at the end of the rainbow. You thought you would not get a harvest from what you were doing. Well, guess what? If it isn't the harvest that you were expecting, it's going to be a better one than you were hoping for. So this conflict, ooh, there could have been competition here. This looks a lot like competition. If it isn't people whispering in your ear, this person is no good for you. Do not uh, make a long-term commitment with this person. Um, that could be the meaning of it. It could be that you're going to make a long-term commitment to something and people are jealous. Now with the five of wands, this is usually friends and family. So you could be just wearing the mask, showing them one face and doing another. Keeping your work and intentions secret. The fool, six of wands. You're taking a leap of faith and will be victorious. You're not just taking a leap of faith here, Gemini. You're freaking flying. From one mountain peak to another. Ace of air, king of wands. So you may have, um, this could be Leo, not necessarily, but you may have someone who's watching you already, who feels very passionate about you. They're very enlightened and they want a commitment. If not, this is someone who's coming in. I see this as a new person simply because of the Ace of Air. If this is someone from the past, it is a renewal, um, looking at things completely differently. <clears throat> this judgment call, yeah, you're at a crossroads. You have to make a judgment call about something, whether it's a person you love or a, a business career change making the call you're ready to make it and by the way when this card shows up spirit tells you the choice you're making is not a wrong choice ending a cycle ending the confusion making a decision of all these options you're closing out a cycle yeah you're definitely at this crossroads this emperor well, the emperor feels the same way. They're exhausted. They wonder if they'll ever have a, a harvest with you. Hmm. Look at this. Standing your ground. It's actually really good. True love rising above the rest whatever competition there is you're way above it when it comes to true love anyway gemini we know nobody can can compete with the one so you're looking at it logically fixing anything that might come along so you're making this plan of action or this person is um, though I think it's you, making this plan of action a blueprint to move forward. And you're calculating any mistakes, anything that could go wrong, and fixing them before they even happen. Before I take this step, I'm going to make sure everything's in place so that there's no mistakes. I don't need the, the hassle. So you're looking at this very, uh, very head over heart though the heart is involved. This message that's coming in that's going to please you. Now see, the Knight of Swords is the bumbling knight. He's tactless. So you may or may not like the message he's got to say, but not so with this, this page of wands. This message that's coming in is going to bring clarity to a situation. And it's going to please you. It's going to be like a surprising uh, 
a surprising little revelation that will put a smile on your face. But they're rushing in really fast. It's almost like I've got to get to Gemini before someone else does that com competitive. I got to go compete. I got to win. Yeah, no competition. Not when true love is involved. I'm going to take this over to the extended reading now. I hope you join us over there, Gemini. Thanks for joining us here if we don't see you over there. And like I said, that $10 a month gets you a lot of extended readings and card pulls. So hopefully we'll see you over there. And join us at Facebook as well. Everything's in the description. God bless you. And we'll talk again soon, I hope. Bye for now.